What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Sigamatsu. Yes, indeed. Sigamatsu fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Brett Parks, and this is actually one of Brett's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Brett. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Brett wanted to see me react to this song by Sigamatsu called Like a Pharaoh. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute. Hold on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Far Hifferch. Yes, there, there it is again. And the video has 1,400 views. Uh, not gonna get you there, sorry. Look, I, I'm sure the song is fine, I'm sure the video is fine. I'm just, I'm just saying, 1,400 views, nah, it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, Sigamatsu 2, I think is what that says. That's what people have told me. Uh, again, Sigamatsu 2. Uh, Sigamatsu, there, yeah, Sigamatsu, Sigamatsu, great. Uh, I'm guessing that says like a pharaoh. Says it right there. I see a pattern. I hope I'm right about that. I could be wrong, but I, I wouldn't even know. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I'm 
I think we may have a guitar solo there. Let me back up a little bit. Um, it's got a little bit of a funk groove going for it. I wouldn't say the song is funk. It's still a, it's still a rock song, but it's definitely got some funk elements for sure. The drumming pattern uh, that he's coming up with, uh, the bass playing really is kind of selling the, the, the whole funk feel with the popping and slapping. Really nice on his part. Uh, even the guitar playing with the uh, with the offbeat chord strumming, especially with the upward strumming, uh, sounds really nice. Very conducive to that style of music. Um, vocally delivering a fine job. I, I I got no beef with this. I got no issue with this. I'm enjoying it. I'm digging it. Um, a little bit of a departure from Sigamatsu's typical, you know, signature sound. Nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as it sounds good. And they don't forget the signature sound and leave it behind, and le and totally put that signature you know sound that they used to that they used to get to where they are and put it in a box and forget all about it forever. Um, nothing wrong with stepping outside the line as long as you stick to your roots. And I mean, they're still rooted uh, with their sound, just the style changed up a tad. Um. It's got the catchiness. It's got the hooks. It's definitely got the hooks. Yeah, it's it's got a, it's got some great things going for it. Absolutely. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. Let's see if I'm right about this guitar solo. <laughs> song i've heard from them but not the worst either uh far from the worst hmm 
Not a lot to talk about. A, a couple of things, but not a lot. Um, I have a question, too. And I'm sure everybody knows what the question is. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Sigamatsu with Like a Pharaoh. This was a request from Brett Parks. And this was actually one of Brett's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Brett. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Okay, before I give my score, I got to go through this spiel like I do for every single video for the month of March. Hopefully everybody will watch at least one video during the month of March and we'll see this spiel. Okay, um... So here's the deal, folks. Uh, it, oh, if you've already seen the spiel, fast forward about five minutes and you'll be at just about the right place. Okay, uh, point of order number one. We are going back to the old scoring system. Uh, that's already gone into effect. We've been doing it since uh, March 1st uh, began. Um, you guys made it very clear you wanted me to go back to the old scoring system. We had a poll, two thirds of the vote said, go back to the old way. So well, that's what we're doing. And to be perfectly clear, I have no problem doing that at all. I, I am perfectly fine with going back to the old scoring system. The reason I went to the five-star scoring system was to try and make things a little bit simpler to understand, make it a little bit easier to understand for new people coming in. The main concern that people had about the five-star scoring system was there was going to be a lot of bands and a lot of uh, songs that were going to get the exact same rating of four out of five stars. And the thing is, all those people, their concerns were absolutely justified. It, it's absolutely true. I was going to be giving a lot of four stars, and I, I, I make no bones about that. That was definitely going to happen. And if people didn't want that, you know, concentration, people didn't want that oversaturation of four stars. I get it. I absolutely get it, and their concerns are absolutely valid. Here's the problem, though. That problem is already happening in the old scoring system. If you think about it, going back to the beginning of the channel, look at all the scores I've given through the history of the channel, I would say it's pretty safe to say uh, about two thirds of the scores fall between a range of 7.4 to 8.6. Now I know a lot of people are saying, well, if we do the math in our head, that's 13 different scores. There's no oversaturation there. You're absolutely right. It is 13 different scores out of 100 possible scores. That's only a 13% range, okay? Now, if you look at the star scoring system, a four-star rating would have been 20% of the scoring. It would have been a bigger window. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's that's going to work against it. 13% it, it, is a much smaller, much more saturated window. So that problem's already happening with the old scoring system. And I warned people... When I did my uh, live stream to talk about the scoring system and what we were going to do, I warned people that if we went back to the old scoring system, I was going to have to make some changes. And the change, very simple, is this. Uh, I got to get tougher. I got to get harder. I got to make it a lot more difficult to get those sevens, eights, and nines. And how I'm going to do that is very simple. We're going to focus on making five the medium ground where i should have been from the beginning of the channel five is the middle it is the average five is a c okay so five is the middle ground every single song starts at a five and we can go up or we can go down depending on how good or how bad the song is but everybody starts at a five no exceptions so Keep that in mind moving forward. Uh, the second point I, I need to make, uh, during the live stream, a number of people suggested uh, to make the scoring system more easy to understand and make it more accessible, how about doing multiple scoring styles for the same score? So give the give the old score of, you know, the old school scoring system, give the numeric score, and then what would it equate to, like with a letter grade or with a star rating? And I thought to myself, that's actually a great idea. So for those of you that suggested that during the live stream, thank you. Because you you definitely offered a solution that I just didn't see. So that's why we have those open forums, man. Because I don't see everything. And sometimes I need people to point out, hey, maybe you should try this. And I'll go, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? 
So we're going to give the exact same score four different ways. We're going to have the old score numeric system. We're going to have a scale star, uh, scale rating system where we're going to have, you know, amazing, great, really good, pretty good, okay, so forth and so on. We're also going to keep the five-star scoring system. So for those of people who understand star ratings, well, there you go. And then we're also going to have a letter grade for those of people who just can't seem to get their mindset out of elementary school. Okay, fine. We're going to have a letter grade too. So four different ways, numeric score, scale score, star rating, letter grade, and there's four different ways to do it. Now, if you guys watching the video cannot take at least one of those and interpret it and internalize it and understand what it means, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. I, I, there's nothing I can do for you. I would probably recommend you might want to think about going and watching another channel because this is clearly not going to be a good channel for you to watch. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Okay, <laughs> meeting adjourned. Now, let's talk about that score, shall we? What did I give this? Well, out of scale of one to 10, and yes, I know it's 0, 0.0 to 9.9, .9, I know, but you folks, one to 10 just rolls off the tongue better. Deal with it. If you're gonna get triggered over that, I <laughs> don't even talk to me. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 6.6. .6. Yep. 6.6 .6. i feel good about that score let me tell you why why 6.6 .6. what does that mean well it means it's a pretty good song based on the on the scale rating it's a pretty good song it's getting three out of five stars and it's getting a b letter grade it's a that is now Make no bones about this. It is at the very bottom of the B. It is right before we go into the B minus range, but it's still getting a B letter grade. So we're getting a 6.6, .6, pretty good. It's three out of five stars and a B letter grade. Take your pick. Now, how did I get to that score? So glad you asked. Uh, remember, we are starting every song at a five. So we wanted before the song even before I even pushed play, we were at a five. Okay, and now the song could go up, it could go down. It really depends on what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing. And it did go up. It went up to about a 6.6 .6 where it peaked. It never felt like it should go higher than that to me. Um, not the strongest song I've ever heard from Sigamatsu, if I'm being honest. It was a, don't get me wrong, they did nothing wrong with the song, okay? The song sounded really nice, actually. Um, I had no issue with anything they did. I like the different approach, actually. Uh, I like that funk style that they had going there. Would I call this a funk song? I don't know if I would go that far. I mean, the drummer definitely had a little bit of a funk beat going, but I wouldn't say he had a full-blown funk beat going. It wasn't like he was going He wasn't doing that. It was a lot more straight ahead than that, a lot more rock than that, but it still felt, it had the funk for sure. The funkiest thing going on, honestly, was the bass playing with the popping and the slapping that he had going. By the way, very clean popping and slapping. I was watching his technique. He was up on the neck, man, wasn't he? He wasn't on the neck, but he was up there, right <laughs> right between where the neck uh, intersected with the body of the bass. He was right there, boy. Getting a nice muted sound from the thumping, especially uh, on, on the, on the, uh, on the slapping, man. He was getting a really nice muted sound. Probably because he was close to the neck, uh, you know, utilizing the pickup, the uh, the neck pickup, as opposed to the bridge pickup, which is usually a little brighter um, when it comes to the popping and slapping sound. You don't see too many people popping and slapping above that above that bridge uh, pickup. Usually, usually, I know, Flea, I know. <laughs> He's gonna be the first person everybody talks about. What about Flea? I'm like, yeah, he 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 definitely gets down there by the bridge pickup without question. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the guitar playing style was nice. It, it, the, the guitar playing style could honestly have gone either way. It could have gone more rock or could have gone more funk. 
it was very much a hybrid style of what was going on with the guitars. Uh, and vocally, same thing. You, I, I think vocally it was a little more leaning, a little more toward the funk than the guitars were, but I wouldn't really call the vocals funky though. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would go that far, but it sounded, it sounded very conducive to the style of the song. It was very clean across the board. It was well organized across the board. Everything about the song made sense. Uh, every direction they went, every time they would change direction. I, I predicted the guitar solo. Um, you know, we saw that coming a mile away. So that was nice. You know, it felt really good. Um, no, overall, just a nice feeling song. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say it was amazing. I'm not going to sit here and say it was a great song. But it was it was a pretty good song, without question. Um, you know, I don't, I don't mind when bands take a step in a different direction. As long as they're willing to step back and get back to their roots, what made them, you know, what got them to this level of success, you know? I, I don't like it when bands, you know, they ride this train that gets them to this level of success and then they're like, okay, well, we're gonna take off, we're gonna get off this train and we're gonna get onto this new train that goes in a completely different direction and we're gonna leave the train that got us here completely behind and forget about it. Those bands, they are rolling the dice, man. I mean, they may have success. They they may. They very well know. I know there's a number of bands that have, but I also know there are a number of bands that actually fell completely by the wayside and never recovered. So it's it's a bit of a crapshoot, guys, when you do that and you leave your success behind and you move in a completely new direction, you're really kind of rolling the bones, man. You are, and you better hope that you don't you don't crap out with Snake Eyes, man, because it's it's a risk. It's a real risk. Um, and I, I didn't get that feeling with this. I did feel like they did, you know, step outside what they normally do, but they still had their signature sound. So they just took a little different style approach, and that's fine as long as they're want to come back to their original style, which I have a feeling they do. Uh, no, overall, pretty good, man. I, I got no issue with it, honestly. I, I got no complaints. Uh, I do have a question, though. Who is that drummer? And why was the drummer we normally see sitting at the front of the stage, you know, watching watching Demon? What, what's the story there? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why that was going on. Uh, I, I think the other drummer, the, the, the new guy they had sitting in there, I think he did a fine job. Don't get me wrong. Um, I thought his makeup was on point too. He looked good, uh, and his drumming sounded tight. I got no issue with it. I'm just, I'm curious, what's the story there? And I'm sure, I'm sure Sigamatsu fans are gonna fill me in and let me know, and I would absolutely appreciate it. Just do me a favor, don't hypothesize, don't guess, don't theorize. If you know, if you know for a fact what's going on there, then by all means, please tell me, absolutely. But if you're not sure, or if, if, you, if you think you know, or I, I have a theory about what was going on, guys, save it, seriously, save it. Don't 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 try to put that on me because I'll read it and I'll be like, wait a minute, now he's telling me this story, but this guy's telling me this story, who do I believe? You know what I mean? So if you know for a fact, let me know. Other than that though, that's all there is to talk about today. So in closing, let's wrap this all up in a nice pretty bow. 6.6, pretty good scale score, Six, uh, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.